Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a treat for you. I have something that is right up my solar anomaly alley. This is one for the record books. And debunkers, you better roll up your sleeves and dig in your boots. Because it's going to take a whole wang fangled wall of you to debunk this. Now, I went on record about a year ago saying that um, I think the sun's having a baby. And then a month ago, I captured footage where I was like, hey, look, see, look, the sun's having a baby. And now I will admit that this anomaly is so far away that it doesn't seem to support my sun baby theory. Though it does seem to be located about the angle and place that we usually see uh, sun dogs, sun halos, if you will. I want to give a shout out to Quaid M13, straight out of Illinois. I was born in Illinois, did you know that? You do now. He captured this footage on June 12th. He's the kind of guy that is like, hey, I want to share this with as many people as possible, so use it. Put it out there. Now, he thinks it's harp in action. I don't. I respectfully disagree because, as you know, I've done about 200 videos in the last two and a half years on the double-peaked minimal solar maximum that was really weird and never-ending. And so I know, without a doubt, the sun has been acting bizarre. And unfortunately, the world is a submerged with stories like Caitlyn Jenner, Rachel Dolianz, Donald Trump, and today's Charleston shooting. So a lot of people don't have time to worry about solar physics. That's where I come in and try and let those people who are curious know. As honest as I can. And as we look at this, this is very weird. And I'm a sun baby guy. And I've said, it looks like the sun baby is farther away than I would guess. I know a lot of people are going to shout, Planet X, Nibiru. And they could be right, but I doubt, I doubt it, personally. I don't think that's freaking Nibiru. Um, I don't think its light would come in like that. And to be totally honest, I have no idea what it is. I'm going to put some of my special filters on, see if that brings up anything. Hey, suspicious observers, you want to take a gander at this puppy? Go ahead. BP Earthwatch, Astral Traveler, anybody, man. Make your own video. Get this out there. Because the sun has been acting wacky. Now remember, my big fight with professional and corporate science is the fact that they will look us straight in the face and tell us that the sun does not affect the climate. Which is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. I'm not arguing that carbon doesn't affect the climate. I'm just saying, the sun affects the climate and the weather, dude. The sun shuts off, that's going to fudge up the weather and climate big time. Anywho, I don't know what this is. I would say alien ship, but that would make me look stupid or crazy. Or stupid crazy. Once again, I want to thank Quaid M13. And Quaid, if you can, go have some deep dish pizza for me. Chicago has some of the finest pizza pies you will ever have. Stuff it, New York. No, I mean, literally put put more stuff in your pizza. It's weird how it shoots up, jets out. Almost looks like a strobe light. Like there's some cloud furniture shop that's having a sale. So it's letting all the clouds know, hey, having a sale. Maybe it's Superman's super signal. Now I checked spaceweather.com in there. But if you notice, the clouds quickly come to cover it up. I would suggest, and I ask more people, please, especially when the sun's going down, keep an eye on it. And if you see any, and if you see anything strange, please, by all means, use your video camera, your phone camera to capture it for us. Team Solar Anomaly. I don't know what that thing is. I'm almost excited to hear the debunkers, you know, come up with their little debunkings. They're like, no, it's a sun dog that acts like a spotlight tail on a wagon dog. It's a sun dog tail. Just wagon, man. <laughs> Didn't you know that? Sundog tail. Of course. Sundog tail. Somebody asked Phil Plate. Bill Nye. Neil Tyson DeGrassi. Oh, wait. I forgot they don't cover the sun. Because science is so into Earth and robots, solar physics are considered passe. So when I went over to spaceweather.com, we have had a lot of filaments, several solar flares lately. I don't think that's what it would be unless the sun had a filament that was wagging like a tail. I haven't checked the sun lately because uh, after, honestly, after doing 200 episodes in two and a half years, I'm a little burned out, especially when, like, other than you awesome guys, nobody listens. Science can just be like, science, all science got to do is hand, build a megaphone and go, the sun does not affect climate. And everybody's like, yeah, dumbass. Like, 
Oh, wait. Forget about it. Okay, I will just slink away in total victory. And you will never know. Alright, so let me know. And thanks again. Q13. QAM13. Appreciate it. Stay cool.